repeat that trick. Oh, Ronnie. But O'Sullivan came on strong in the second session, Neil, against Robertson. Yes, we know. Before. Well, I was having a discussion with David Hendon, our fellow commentator last night, and indeed Joe Johnson, we were all there. And uh... Such a contrast, of course, from last season when he suffered nine amongst the elite, but now very much upwardly mobile again. His second consecutive major final here in China. Pressure off themselves saying that. You know, there's an argument that he's not quite the best player of the season, but by the same token, when he isn't far wrong, he's been playing. Interestingly, the mid-session interval, by definition, should be after five, shouldn't it? If there's ten, but it's not. So old habits die hard. One. Well, Sullivan hasn't always been at his best this week. In recent times, that he's shown he can scrap to victory when he's not flowing Disappointment that he should have broken down so early seems to be an awful lot of reds that he could land it on but... yes and uh, his long game was a bit in and out yesterday Potted a couple of them. To be honest, I expected him to pot that. And it seems that he's left Sean Murphy at the sort of early chance he needs. And I don't think either would particularly enjoy losing to the other one. One. It's not a needle match. I don't think it's quite as extreme as that, but they're very different personalities. Both great players. Eight. Now, something of a queuing shot here. And he's queuing well, like I said. Fourteen. It could be made free. Certainly a bit of this red that he's now about to play, the right hand red. Out in the open, as you can see, the other reds will go there. 21. You can see just below the pink as we get that perfect camera angle on a plant. 28. Thirty-six. Well, he's a bit unlucky there. Playing in the world final over thirty-five, you need a good start. Sean Murphy, forty-three. So you can't be switched off early on. One. Cement. Tremendous pot from O'Sullivan. Yes, and O'Sullivan is surely the best front runner the game has ever seen. Gone on to dominate. Five. Once he does get in front, it's very, very difficult to peg him back. It's happened. He's appearing in his 105th professional final today. And going for his Masters final. He, uh, was way in front of Sullivan and Paul Hunter. Well, that is a fabulous spot from what? Murphy and a bit unlucky to get the cannon that he did. Respect. It's a good shot as well. Look at that. That could not have been played any better. Off one. His relatively new home of Dublin with Fergal O'Brien has helped that facet of his game, which perhaps has been something of a weakness, comparatively speaking. In London. Important to understand the popularity of what? this game. You see a big event like the Shanghai Masters, and it's a long match, but 
Phil Murphy will hope it shapes up pretty well in this first session. He needs to get into it. Eight. Five. That was very well cued. Of course, if the pink had have spotted, the other 15. red would have been available. But in rolling the blue in, he'll be 45 in front with 43 off. I think Sean Murphy has played a good frame here. Nothing spectacular, no centuries or anything. Sullivan in trouble, which has presented this opportunity to clinch 21. the frame, which he's taken. Sean Murphy, 21, in the frame. Sean Murphy is playing a pretty by frame to nil. Sean Murphy breaks off in frame two, having this tournament to defend his title. It's a very dangerous way to play that shot. I'm amazed that Murphy. One. Good pace on this. say that is a little bit unlucky you never know quite where the other red's going I'm not sure he could hold from playing it that way well, that's not even never. anyway that was uh, times world champ Mark Williams which went to the wire his other victories have been pretty serene dropping just five frames in anything difficult balance for O'Sullivan he, you know, he wants to play attacking safety shots but Sweetly struck. Behind the colour is all you can do here. Show him off with one. Fourteen. Twenty <clears throat> one. Just about top side, but again, has he got a way of opening the bunch? <coughs> I'm not sure he has. Well cued to make a wide angle to get off. Yeah, the bottom red doesn't go. It's that ready Find better set. shot I think O'Sullivan played. He could 
play on the loose red once again. Circuit five. that because he was trying to spoil the angle. I think it was a little straight. Black was tied up when he came to the table. One. If he could do something similar here with a rather more favourable table. Well, it's not bad. Actually, both middle pockets. Nine. Yes, early in the match, but this is a possibly significant seventeen it won't matter he can dish up here. Just keeping five. it simple there as well, playing on the pink. I think that was a good way of playing it. It's easy to get on this other red from there. Just a fraction short away. Goodness me. 32. He nearly missed it, didn't he? It really did wobble. I thought that was staying out. Sure how it dropped, but it did drop these pockets. Thirty-seven. Well, that's not a good shot. Again, he might. Forty. It's a fabulous shot. Again, he's a little. Forty-four. That's okay. Forty-nine. One or two scary moments for me, but a very important one 55. early in this final. Ronnie O'Sullivan missed a red with on the frame. Sam it looks as though it's going to be one all, but Murphy has cleared up. He's held his nerve.